Hello. Hi again, here with the Casio FX991EX. I'm going to be looking at solving these quadratic equations. You could use it to solve cubics as well. Let's have a look. Here's an equation that's not easy to make friends with. We have a fraction, don't like it. Calculator can do the job and we don't have to lose sleep. So we have to solve it and find the coordinates of the minimum point. And this is going to do it all for us, even if it was a maximum point. So inside the menu system, which we access by pressing the menu button, you can use these to navigate, or you could find the section A, and it's called equation function. Just press equals to get in there. And there's simultaneous equations, useful for another lesson. But here, polynomials, we're gonna click the number to get into the section we want. Quadratic up here, the highest power is a two, so it's called a, a polynomial or degree two. So we're just gonna click two, and we put the coefficients into the blank spaces. So in the first one, we've got a one. This is really interesting. We have to put a fraction now. So the fraction button is still used, but we don't have to put it first. We write the numerator, press the fraction button. We get this little thing here, which means fraction. So whatever comes next is a denominator. And we have 14. So we put that in equals, and look what it does. Turns it straight into a decimal. What does that mean? It's rounded slightly, so interesting result, but I think we'll find we'll get nice whole fractions from this anyway. And finally, we put in our negative two, just use the negative button as we do there. When we press equals, we'll get three things. We'll get the x1. This is the first. You decide which one it is. If you draw a sketch, you could probably figure out, but four over seven is very useful if you want to get to sketching the S to D button here, we'll change it to a decimal. And decimals are a better form for figuring out the magnitude in comparison to other numbers. And when we press equals again, we get X2, which is negative 7 over 2. Let's see how big that one is. Ah, we know, negative 3.5, but still useful. And the last time we press um, equals, there's a couple of equals to this. We get, if we read it carefully, the minimum of Y and this is the x coordinate, all right? So this is the line of symmetry, if you will, x equals this, but it's the x coordinate of the minimum point, roughly this. And we press equals again, and this is the y coordinate. Okay, so this would be the height of the thing and in terms of how low that minimum goes, negative 4.14 if you need the decimal. You press equals again, and then you're ready to go for another one. If you want to see any function of this calculator or have any question at all, leave a comment 